Anyone who has shared a dinner with a wine hog or a big ticket wine drinker on your tab knows the discomfort bad wine etiquette can wreak. So here with a guide to help us navigate bad wine behavior is WSJ's on wine columnist, Letty Teague. Hi, Letty. Great hey, to Tanya. see you. Always fun. How often do you get questions about wine etiquette? You know, every so often, but I'm confronted with bad wine etiquette enough that I thought this might be something, there might be a, a column in it. Give us some examples of something that you've personally experienced. Well, probably most recently and most often, it's the person that, that brings the bottle um, or orders the bottle at a restaurant. And this happened to me not too long ago. Um, not naming names, of course, <laughs> but uh, you know, it was a, a, someone that I didn't know very well brought a nice bottle of wine and, and said, this is very nice, gave a little pour to everyone, and then proceeded to basically keep the bottle you know, right next to him and sort of pour into his own glass and I would have to go, I would sort of have to lunge over the table to say, oh could I have some? Oh my goodness! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Which is the exact opposite of That's the wine hog, right? Reality. That's the wine hog. And then you've had people ask you about the person at the dinner party right. who orders the $700 bottle right. of wine. And this turned out to be, um, and this actually came about, as I wrote in my column, about a, a conversation with my dentist. You know, I just happened to be in there for a, you know, a, a checkup and he he started to tell me up the story that, that he and another dentist had taken a third dentist out, and the third dentist was a wine aficionado, you know, which, <laughs> and who knew a lot about wine, which basically meant he was going to take the two dentist to the cleaners, which he did. And, and, <laughs> oh, no. and he said, have you ever heard of this before, Letty? And, and unfortunately, I'd just heard about it from some friends of mine. And then, I mean, I, I, I have gotten so many emails, um, and there's been so many comments from readers, over 150 at this point, all with their own stories of, of this happening to them. And I think it's brilliant, though, that you point out there is a way the sommelier can help in this situation, correct? Exactly. And, and that's what a, 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 a few people I know who have had this happen to them, um, and one friend who's in, especially in advertising, um, is a head of an agency. So you know, she calls ahead, has the conference with us. Only you know, will pre you know pre-select the wines. Or another friend of mine who's a financial um, guy will actually. He's, this is very clever. Um, he's a very funny guy. He's, he said you know it, um, he'll let someone choose the wine, but then he'll say you know what. I don't know that that's going to go with what we are going to eat. Let me ask the sommelier, and then he takes the wine list and he points to the wine or the you know around the the amount of money that he wants to spend. He said, "My friend is thinking about the such and such, but I'm thinking maybe something oh, here." A little and, bait know, and switch, right? <laughs> the seventy dollars yeah. section, not the seven hundred. And, and a good sommelier you know, will catch on to that. Yeah. They should understand, yeah. correct? Yeah. It's now there's also some yeah. etiquette to to sharing and pouring, correct, Letty? T tell us about that. There is, there is, you know, and maybe this, demonstrate this, if you will. Insane, I know. It's like a, it's here. Let me. Let me. Right. That's bad. Right. That's bad. <laughs> and then for me to do the same, we right. have a flower right. in your um, And you is this is is the right thing to do. So um, you and I, I, the same friend that that does the the trick. You know, um, the sommelier said that he will he will sort of you know uh, scarf down his wine when when the sommelier comes around you know to re-pour everyone's glass and he sees him coming and he, he quickly downs the contents of his glass so he can maximize the amount of wine he gets in his glass because he's already felt cheated that the guy has ordered seven hundred dollar wine on but his I guess if you're if you're paying for it that's okay but normally you shouldn't do no, that. No. And so <laughs> always you should condone. you should yeah. pour your guest first or whoever yeah. you're sitting with pour yourself last. Right. Which just and even like on sense, but even right? on refills, right? It's not just the Absolutely. first time. Every time you go to refill your glass, you should look around to see if somebody which else needs I find it. it astonishing the degree to which that is not practiced by a lot of people I know, a lot of otherwise polite people. I'm, I'm just like, isn't that the way that we were all brought up? Right. You don't know, just, you know, it's not just me first or here's, I'm going to take all the chicken legs, you know. And, <laughs> and if you, you bring a bottle of wine to a dinner party or elsewhere, it's largely a gift. It's right, you don't really sit, I mean, I'm in the, some readers read it and they said they've been to dinners where someone will bring a bottle of wine and, and proceed to drink it all themselves. It's like, well, I've brought my bottle. Right. What about you? And <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> well, cheers, Letty. Really Thank true. you so much cheers, for Tanya. I hope we keeping have equal us. Of yeah, wine. Absolutely. <laughs> you did a lovely job. Pouring. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Mm. Oof, dribbling. Mm. Sorry, a little overpour there. <laughs>